Hello everybody and welcome to this club guide for the rookie, pro and expert and master division in the desert open tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. So let's go! So first and foremost we're going to start with the rookie division. And rookie division, there you can find all the holes in tour number 4, the 6 star hotel, uh, if you do want to get some practice. So I do suggest that you take a friend. Uh, and go down, play some friendlies on Tour 4, or if you do want to play the regular Tour game, you can play Tour 4 there as well. We're going to play a full 9 of the Oasis, which means that we're going to have 5 new holes. And the holes here that you can see here on the screen is the same for every division in the tournament. It's just that you're playing from different uh, tees. So here in Rookie Division, we play from the front tee, and that means that most of the times we're going to play with different type of club settings and stuff like that than other divisions. So we're going to start off with hole number one and that is the Oasis hole, uh, par 5 and this is important to go as close to the top there as possible. I do suggest the big dog here because I do want to have some distance with my wood club. So the distance here is important in my opinion especially when you are not always playing with the power three balls. A power three ball is a kingmaker or a titan. So for going with a quasar or a navigator do have power one then I would say that a, a big dog or a wood club with distance would be something that you need to have. Hole number two we do uh, want to have distance here as well. I, even if you play it right or you play it left, it doesn't really matter. The distance will still be required for the approach to the pin. If you go to the right, you can still uh, go with uh, with other clubs as well. But have in mind that the distance combined with some backspin is kind of needed to get it to land on the green. Left side, then you can bounce it easily to the green. But you need distance for not having to overpower your shot. Hole number three, we come to the first par three, and this is one of the old holes, and this um, this time we do have a tree in our way for going for the sand bump, and otherwise I would suggest that in this position. But now we do have a backbone, and the importance here is that we do have a club that has some good accuracy combined with curl. The backbone do get some curl in the uh, when it's upgraded like five, six, seven. Not max curl, of course, but there is not that many long irons, especially in the beginning stages of the of the game that has a lot of curl. If you do have an upgraded Goliath, if you do have an upgraded Saturn, I would prefer those instead. But we need to take into account that when you're playing the rookie division, you you do not have those clubs that upgraded, but the backbone usually is a club that is upgraded uh, in a good way. Hole number four, another uh, old hole, and this is a very tricky part four. Here it requires uh, length, uh, both, uh, it's, or especially with your wood club. The distance uh, on uh, the fairway for your driver is not that necessary to be that long. You can go with a quarterback, but I would prefer an extra mile, even though it's a low upgraded club. Uh, you bounce it over the first rough and then you go for the rough bump uh, just by the green. And for that shot you need distance. If you are not having a club with distance, then you can bounce it over from uh, the fairway uh, before the green to the green and give yourself a birdie. But for getting that eagle, or at least getting close to the eagle, we do want to go for the rough bump. Hole number five, we come here with a kind of a slight like we can play this hole in like kind of three ways. I do like to go on the fairway uh, fairway path that goes to the right, curl it in with uh, approximately one bar of backspin with my uh, long iron. When it comes to my sniper, I only play that if I'm going to play with my uh, with the rough bump by the green or if we have some difficult headwind. And that is of course the same here. If you do not have the sniper, then you can go with the Viper or any other type of wood club. But I would prefer going on the fairway pa path, bounce it towards the pin to stay away from the, uh, from the rough because that is very, very inconsistent when it comes to the bounce. Hole number, uh, hole number six, the way it's part five. Now we come to six, seven, eight, and nine, which is new holes. So hole number six, we do uh, need distance. And many of the holes do need distance because uh, mostly the new holes that is played in tournament, also in regular tour play, are a bit longer. And that's why the big dog here when you play in the first division, which is the rookie division, is 
it's important to actually have uh, also to kind of count for that we are maybe not using a Titan Ball or a King Mick. We may be using Marlins, Navigator, Quasars or even a basic ball sometimes. But on hole number six, I do suggest that you're actually having a Titan Ball as a ball as well to give you that extra distance that you will need, especially for your second shot. I do prefer going left because then I have an open shot towards the pin, pin and I can roll that ball to, uh, with my top spin towards the pin as well. Hole number seven, the, it's the last of the part threes. Here I would go with the rough bump and here you can see the horizon or the big dog. Horizon is a club that you actually can upgrade in early stages and therefore also have a wood club with some distance uh, and also some, uh, some ball guide in this particular situation. We do want to go for the rough bump by the green and uh, if you haven't seen that check out the videos for it because that is definitely the most consistent way especially to try to get that hole in one that you really really need but in the end uh, you can also bounce it on the fairway up to the green but then you need a wood club uh, because you will be playing with the wood club in maximum distance. Hole number eight here I actually just suggesting a quarterback because the key here is to put yourself on the fairway when it comes to your drive and that I mean that you want to bounce yourself to the left or to the right side to take away the trees from play because you do have a couple of trees just in the middle so you kind of go left and go right and the thing that I value here with the quarterback is ball guy combined with curl you do not have that much curl in an extra mile that do have like a level 2, level 3, level 4 therefore the quarterback will definitely be a better suggestion in this particular situation for the second shot you're going to go for the rough bump and that you can do with basically whatever type of club long iron short iron doesn't really matter but the quarterback is important as a drive hole number nine here we do have the big dog we need length length and length we need curl curl and curl we almost kind of need to slice and hook our shots here and i would say from the uh, from the first team don't consider this one as an eagle hole if you are able to drop an eagle from distance be very very happy but this is definitely a hole where we do need a lot of technical aspects to be there and then we do not have the clubs for it so that is something to really have in mind so focus on the other holes a little bit more try to stay on the fairway so you're not putting you into a risk that you actually can get a par but see hole number nine as a birdie hole anything else than that would be a big big bonus so my friends this was a rookie division and we're going to go to pro and expert and when it comes to pro and expert we are going to feature here a different type of setup when it comes to the clubs and the reason behind that is of course that you play uh, when you play pro and expert you first and foremost play from the second tee which gives you more distance towards the pin and it also requires uh, to play those division with a better setup of clubs and here you can see like we do have more guardian sniper etc etc and that is important to have in mind that you mostly have those clubs in a good way upgrade especially in expert in pro kind of in a medium way with levels but in expert you do have it in uh, often in a really good level in, in this part uh, particular division so we're going to start off with hole number one and here it's a sniper and the guardian and here it depends on if we're going to have a headwind for our second shot or not and that you can of course find out while playing the, the driver and also playing the hole one time depending on the wind that's going to be there for the tournament we want to play us up there as uh, as far as possible on the fairway and then we want to go with sniper or we want to go with the guardian that you can decide yourself but of course with headwind the guardians a um, little bit more yards is better than having a sniper with like less five five ten yards less Hole number two, we're going to go with the Guardian or the Cataclysm here and the reason we're going to choose between those two is that we do want to have clubs with distance. The Guardian gives us a little bit more control than the Cataclysm uh, if we're not having a Cataclysm maxed of course then that is the, suggest the suggestion always but most of the times we do not have that. So a Guardian level 7, level 8 would be better than a Cataclysm level uh, level 3, level 4 and you do want to go and play left side you can play right side as well and going right side then you need a guardian to be able to get directly to the green with that maximum uh, maximum backspin otherwise you can bounce it towards the pin on the left side hole number three the goliath or the sniper and here depends depends the club selection on uh, the 
the win that we're going to have. So for example, if you're going to go with the wind resistant five ball, then you uh, and we are having headwind, then you most likely is going to be playing with a sniper because uh, otherwise you will be in between clubs. If we're uh, if we're having side wind or tailwind, then we're going to go with the Goliath all day and every day, as we will be playing with that in maximum distance. So it's either sniper minimum distance or a Goliath uh, maximum distance. Hole number four, uh, we do have Sniper here and we do have the Guardian. And here it again depends on which type of win that we're going to get and what you actually value when it comes to your second shot. I would value accuracy in ball guide, but also in some cases I want to value distance a little bit more uh, than the other abilities or the other aspects of the club. So. And then the Guardian come off very, very good. And we do want to go for the rough bump by the green. That is absolutely the best way to get an eagle. Uh, so depending on the wind, depending on how far you feel that you will be able to reach on the with your drive, then the Sniper or the Guardian is the suggestion that you're going to choose between. Hole and number five, we take Sniper and Guardian here as well. Sniper would be my like number one uh, suggestion here, but if you do have that one less upgrade like level five, level six, then the Guardian may be in level seven, level eight, then the Guardian could actually be better. But the Sniper in general, if we take that into account, if having that like in level seven, level eight, level nine, level 10, then we should absolutely have no problem with using the curl which is a very, uh, very, very important aspect. And then we're going to have backspin combined with side spin to curl our ball to the left into the green and then hopefully make an hole in one, but at least a safe birdie. Hole at number six, the big dog and the cataclysm here, another part five. We do need distance for a second shot. We're going to have an open shot from the left side towards the pin, and there uh, and therefore distance is required because you will not be able to reach directly to the green. Uh, if you are having a massive amount of tailwind, you can curl it very in a maxed way over to the second fairway, but that is going to require tailwind. So don't have that as a general. Uh, way to play the hole but cataclysm or the big dog depending on which one you actually feel most comfortable with and the one that you have the most upgrade as well hole and number seven i say the quarterback here and that is because we do want to go for the rough bump i do suggest using our wind resistant ball here uh, to give your, yourself the less amount of wind to adjust for when it go, when it's time to go for the rough bump that is absolutely the best way to go for the hole in one uh, sure you can bounce it over with a wood club but in the end uh, going with your driver in minimum distance in uh, for the rough bump is definitely the better way Hole number eight, and this is the easiest hole in the whole tournament, in my opinion, because even though if you put yourself in the rough or in the bunk, so there is no bunkers, but in the rough uh, short, then you will be able to reach for your wood club for the bounce towards the pin. So important uh, to give you yourself the, the long iron or the short iron rough bump opportunity for the eagle. So be very accurate with your driver so you're not putting that one in the rough for that occasion. But you shouldn't be afraid to lose the birdie, but at least this is a good, good uh, eagle opportunity. Hole number nine, and here is like, if we're not having tailwind, then this is a birdie hole. You will see, I would, I would guess that uh, I would say 49 out of 50 players will make a birdie on this one uh, in Maybe even more. So this is definitely a birdie hole. You will most likely be ending up uh, Kind of close, but you're still going to have a long wedge short uh, a short short iron or a rough iron or a sandwich towards the pin And sure you can sink that one but in the end don't look at this as an eagle hole because then you're going to be uh, very disappointed and that is no need to be if you're getting a birdie on hole number nine Okay, okay, and last but not least about prone expert We do practice every single hole of the now before the tournament starts on tour number nine six star hotel Master 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 some of the holes here is going to be a killer and you can see the cataclysm being suggested on many of the places and that is depending on the wind actually. So hole number one, depending on the wind, if we do have headwind, then we need to play ourselves to the right because we will not be able to reach over to the fairway on top because we play from the third distance, uh, third tee when it comes to master division. 
then we want to have the Cataclysm. If we can reach over to the top there, that also means that we're going to have Sidewind for our second shot, and therefore we're going to choose the Sniper. So, depending on the wind for your drive, that is how you're going to choose your second club. Hole and number two, the Guardian or the Cataclysm, basically the same as Pro and Expert. Uh, we would, uh, we will, uh, with basically every single type of wind, we're going to have to play right, trying to go over the rough by bouncing it over. If we are not uh, being able to do so, and uh, maybe we want to take an either, I would say, like having a lot of headwind, then we need to play short. But in general, going on the right side will be the most uh, featured play when it comes to Masters Division. And then we need distance and we also need backspin. So having a Guardian maxed out, that is definitely the suggestion for that particular shot. If uh, we have some good wind, we can go left side as well. But from the 30, the wind is going to be very, very tricky and it's going to be easy for us to put ourselves in the rough. Hole number three, here is the sniper. Uh, if you are using a wind resistant five ball and we have a massive headwind, then we're going to be having to play with a driver. So I would suggest that you actually go for a normal ball like Titan or Kingmaker, and then you should have no problem to uh, to reach for the green for that one. You play the shot as you would playing with your long iron, some curl to the left, uh, combine with side spin to the left, and get the ball on top of the green to make it fall back down. Hole number four, the sniper or the cataclysm here. And again, it depends on which type of wind that we're going to have. If we do have a headwind that can't reach over the rough, then we need to play short. And then we do need as much distance as possible combined with curl. And then the cataclysm is going to be the best uh, club for that particular shot. If we can reach over the rough, then I would suggest the sniper to give ourselves uh, the opportunity to make the rough bump even though we are playing from the third tee. Hole in number five, we do have the sniper and we do have the guardian and here again we're going to play from the right side curling it in. Having headwind then we're going to have to play with our driver, I hope we won't, but in the end otherwise it's going to be the, the, the fairway path that we're going to bounce it in using side spin combined with backspin and some curl and we're going to land this one very close to the green. Sniper or Guardian, you decide yourself. I like the more curl on Sniper, I would go with the Sniper. In my, if I would be having a gun to my head, I would go with the Sniper instead of the Guardian. Hole number six, uh, part five, then we need to pull off clubs, uh, a club with distance. We do want to play the left side because that will give us an open shot towards the pin. With a, 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 a big amount of tailwind with a berserker or a snow globe or a turbo ball then we could be reaching over the water to the second fairway by bouncing with a massive amount of curl very very tough shot though and something that we may not be trying to do as it could be more risky than rewarding but in the end if we play ourselves up safe on the left side if we do have the wind for it then the cataclysm or the big dog will be the best clubs for that position because then we're going to have to have distance for the pin and the further we can reach on the fairway the, the less topspin we're going to have and then we're going to roll this one easily down to the, to the green to make an eagle and maybe an, uh, an albatross if you're, if you're lucky. Hole at number seven, here we're going to play with our driver. We're going to play with the driver that also gives us the most distance. And that maybe sounds uh, a bit in a double standard when it comes to uh, showing the Thor's hammer here, but Thor's hammer combined with uh, an apocalypse, then I would choose the Thor's hammer over the apocalypse due to the, um, the ball guideline that is so much better. In general, when you're playing with a rough bump, you most of the times do not do that with a driver because if you miss then you're going to have a big big problem but now the uh, the rough bump it's definitely the easiest way to secure a birdie but also the easiest way to at least get a good attempt to make an hole in one hole number eight we're going to play here uh, with our backbone or the b52 i do value uh, ball guide and accuracy for this particular shot and i mean our second shot because we do want to try to reach over the fairway here uh, reach over the first piece of rough to give ourselves an open shot for the rough bump towards the pin if we're having uh, like a good amount of tailwind then we can go right bouncing it over the rough on that position and then we're going to have a short iron towards the pin and towards the pin we're going to go for the rough bump and therefore we do want to have some ball guideline to help us there to get the, that shot 
in the hole. But as I've said in, in uh, recent club guides as well, hole number 8 is definitely the easiest hole in the whole tournament and therefore a good eagle opportunity. Hole number 9, and I would say, uh, again, this is not an uh, eagle hole. This is a birdie hole and it's going to be played as a birdie hole. If you take an unnecessary risk, you can risk even the birdie and be playing for getting a par or maybe even a bogey. There is a lot of water, there is a lot of bunker and of course a lot of rough. And if missing your drive, sure you will not be able to reach in two. The only way to actually give yourself a good uh, opportunity to make the eagle is that we are going to have tailwind and then we're going to have some tailwind slash sidewind. And that is of course the dream wind then we may can put ourselves close to the green have a rough iron sandwich short iron or a long iron towards the pin i would pack a long iron with good uh, backspin i would pack a short iron with good backspin as well but most of all i would have a wood club with a lot of distance so my friends this was the club guide for rookie pro and expert and master division in the desert open tournament if you do have any questions please make a comment in the comment section below and i will be happy to answer you there here in the end i want, uh, would like to say that this video is sponsored by playdemic and golf clash and i want to wish you the best of luck when it comes to the desert open tournament